Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are new. Let's redo that. Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. That is Ava in the background. Uh, it is Saturday and welcome to our second weekly vlog. So today we have a little bunny in our backyard. You guys want to see it? It's so cute. Bella goes crazy. But I will not let her back there because I love bunnies. And rabbits they're so cute okay where is it where is it hold on maybe you'll be able to see it better this one oh my gosh he's so cute do you guys see him oh he's so cute yeah no he's so cute oh, I mean Bella Bella and it's about to go up underneath the fence because Bella is going crazy no no isn't it so cute there's a smaller one too, I think. Or maybe, oh, he just went out. He's so cute. Hey. So yes, Bella has a new friend hey. that she wants to go outside in the backyard all the time. And literally when she sees the bunnies, like if we're upstairs, she will literally come upstairs to get our attention to come let her outside. But like I said, when the bunnies are out there, I do not let her out there because she will chase and she is on the mission to kill and I am not down with that. So she is not allowed to go out there and chase the bunnies. So anyways, today is Saturday, August 15th and we are going to go to the bowling alley we're also going to go to this little diner because I'm going to have me a little cheat meal today. And we might do some shopping. We might go to Home Goods. We might go to Burlington. Um, if that doesn't happen, then we'll just like do it throughout the week or something like that. But yeah, those are our plans. As far as the bowling alley, uh, it's, it, it's like they've done it to where it's like social distance and stuff like that. So I feel super comfortable going. We've been wearing our masks. Everywhere we go, I am literally convinced, by the way, that me and Kentrell have already had COVID and that Ava was exposed to it as well, but she did not get it. So I am thoroughly convinced. Kentrell, are you convinced that you already had COVID? I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm convinced I did. That's the sickest he's ever been. That's the sickest I've ever been. You guys were watching me back in late January, early February. You know how sick I was. I have never in my life been so dang sick. And there are reports coming out now saying that if you were sick between January and February, or was it December and February? I don't know. But it's very possible that you had COVID. And like I said, that was like unlike any other flu I've ever had before. I'm just saying. So apparently there is a line to get into home goods and that's one thing I will not do. I will not stand in line to get into a store. Um, keep in mind, I have not been shopping like out. Where have we been? We've just been to places like, like we went into Walmart the other day. We didn't have to stand in line. I guess it's like there's a certain capacity that they're allowing, which is good. But y'all, I ain't about that line life, and I ain't about to. Mm -mm, no. Oh, the line's actually moving. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. Twelve seconds later. I did it. Oh, do me a favor. Pour me another glass. Poor hearts are never lost Oh, take me I'm a wild point Getting bored out looking for attention I'm not looking to me no friend No
was not successful in the fall decor department they had very little fall decor and I'll show you guys in a minute or I may have already shown you but yeah not a whole lot at all I was actually kind of disappointed but I mean maybe it's because of COVID usually I feel like the stores are like full I probably need to go to a place like Hobby Lobby or something like that but I will say that I got something that I didn't know I wanted slash needed but totally need and it is a mannequin and it's a mannequin that's really pretty first of all so it's like perfect for decor for my office but then second it's also adjustable I actually might put it in my bedroom in that corner would it be creepy to have a mannequin in your bedroom I mean you guys are scared of ghosts so <laughs> <laughs> anyways um we got a mannequin, Ava saw it, and I was like, oh my gosh, that'd be perfect for me to start selling on Poshmark because when I take the pictures, it's always on hangers and it's just not a good representation. Um, sometimes, like, I don't have the picture of me in it, so you know what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, an unexpected purchase that I didn't know that I needed but totally do need. So Poshmark pictures are coming. Hopefully stuff should already be up by the time you guys are seeing this, but on our way to the bowling alley now and we are super excited My stomach can no longer have food or handle food like that. I don't know when the last time I actually had like a cheat meal or a treat meal, whatever you want to call it. But man, I think like fourth bite in, my stomach was like, mm-mm, no, girl, no. <laughs> I was like, okay. I'm telling you, the, the food that I got, I would have devoured two months ago without a problem I would have eaten 
every single bite, I would have had a empty plate. And this is progress. And I say on my weight loss channel all the time, when it comes to my um, weight loss journey, it's like celebrating the small victories. And this right here is a huge non-scale victory. And I am going to celebrate that because the kids actually had one of the onion rings too. So I only had a couple onion rings, one piece of fish, and maybe half of the macaroni and cheese. I'm telling you guys, this would have been completely gone two months ago. So I'm really proud of that, about that. My kids, my kids, the way they ate, I was like, did y'all eat today? Like, have y'all eaten the, the, the past week? Like, am I starving y'all? Hey, can you put this in the, in there for me? Um, but I wanted to show you guys, here's my little, and I called her a mannequin, but she's not a mannequin, I forgot, she's a dress form. But do you see, this is so perfect. And to top it off, you can totally, there's like a little thing right here. You can make her taller. You can make her shorter. So I just made it the shortest it could go. The way that I had it a minute ago was the tallest I could go. Um, I do love this. I will say that it does have a rip in the side, which I'm not concerned about because who's really ever going to see that on the side? Um, and then two, mostly like I'm going to be using this not just as decoration, but also like actually functional use where I'm going to be using this to post pictures of things on Poshmark. So with that being said, I just want to encourage you guys, if you do see something like this in a store and you want something, ask for a discounted price because you shouldn't be paying full price for this. I mean, it's not like, it's damaged, you know? So I asked them, they gave me 10% off, so I paid $45 instead of $49.99, um, which isn't a huge discount, but hey, it's something. So anyways, that's Jessica. Ava said no, she doesn't want her to be named Jessica. But I kind of like that name. So Jessica, welcome to the family, welcome to this home. So this is where I decided to keep my little, what is this thing called, a maiden form? Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you like her there? Um, this will be the, uh, this is the background for my try-on hauls. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that or not in the video. Uh, I think, well, it probably does go to that, that far. This camera that I vlog on is a much wider angle than the, um, one that I, uh, do, like, sit-down videos and stuff like that with. So I don't know. I don't know if she works there. Um, I think she looks best in a corner and I really don't have any other corner except for that. And then obviously these right here, but those are occupied by lights, which I need. So let me know what you guys think um, in the comments down below if you like her there. Hey guys, so it is Sunday, August 16th, and this is what I'm going to be doing all day in this bed. Actually, I'm going to edit two videos and then I'm going to park myself in this bed and watch YouTube and watch um, movies and stuff like that because I just need some rest. I'm also going to do my five minutes of stairs, but instead of dancing, I'm going to do some yoga because I feel like my body just needs it. It really, truly needs just like a day to just relax and kind of do nothing. But yeah, well, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. I just want you to know that you can start today living boldly and without fear. You're stronger than you think you are. And if you believe you can, you can. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. I fell off the face of the earth yesterday. <laughs> I didn't really, but I was so sick. Like, I was legit scared that I was, like, getting something. I was like, what is going on? I don't know if it was just because... Um, I've been like, go, 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 go. And I was like all last week, I got a lot done last week and I really didn't like take time out for myself or rest or anything. And then Sunday I was supposed to like not do a whole lot, but instead I ended up editing like until 2.30 in the morning. Like literally I edited all day into the evening. So yesterday I was supposed to get a lot done and I was just like, 
feel so hot. And I was like really lightheaded. I'm really proud of myself though because I still pushed myself and I was able to do my five minutes of stairs. And um, I also did yoga. So got my workout in still. But man, yesterday was a hard day and I was just like praying like, please Lord, don't get me getting sick. Please don't let me get me getting sick. So yeah, I'm feeling much better today. Still a little bit tired, but um still feeling way better than I did yesterday. So I'm probably not going to make it to, I kind of had like how to do a little adjustment in um, my to-do list for the week. So I'm probably not going to make it to um, Home Goods or wherever, not Home Goods. I went to Home Goods. Uh, the places that I want, wanted to go uh, to do my fall, like to do the fall decor shopping, probably I'm not going to make it there today because I have three try-ons to do and then I also need to get some editing, some more editing done today. Um, I'm trying to get a video up every single day this week. I will catch you guys later. This is really all I have planned. It's a really boring day. It's very work heavy so we probably won't really make it many places anywhere today but we will see. What we got here? I have grilled cheese. You didn't make me any? Cheetos and I didn't think you wanted any. I would, I would thought, I would have thought that you were going to get something else because every time I ask you, you say no. Look at how delicious their breakfast, or their, their lunch, their lunch looks. Oh, Ava's got a Pop-Tart. Kinchel's got some grapes and some Cheetos. He didn't make me none. So, I guess... I'm gonna have to get something else. I'm just messing up. Hey, He's right, I would not have eaten it. There's something right there. There's really just one. Yeah, Hold on, shot. while I find something, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna okay, eat in a you. minute. Okay, so this does not look appetizing in the slightest, but this is the uh, chicken corn on blue casserole that I made in the crock pot. Um, if you didn't go check, if you didn't see that video, go check it out, I'll link it down below, but um, yeah, the stuffing got like super mushy. I just put peas and carrots on the side. I also have some grapes. I'm gonna finish my water and get some more. Um, and yeah, this is my lunch. Uh, by the way, someone told me that I should have made this in a crock pot casserole. And I did not know that there was such a thing, but that combines two of my favorite things, casseroles and crock pots. And oh my gosh, I've got to find it so I can start making casseroles in the crock pot because wow, my life will be changed. morning you guys it is Wednesday I believe but hold on let me see what time it is 9 42 a.m. so me and Ava are going to go do some shopping for some fall decor hopefully we find some good things we might end up at Target so I can see what they have in their dollar spot I don't know but I wanted to show you my outfit real quick because it's so cute so here I am wearing this shirt that I absolutely love. I got it from Dress Lily and I did the haul on it yesterday and when I tried it on I was like, oh my gosh, I freaking love this. I love, love, love this hop so much. So I'm wearing this. I know the shoes don't really go that well, but since I'm going to be walking around a lot, I don't like to wear like flat flip flops or whatever and that's really all that I have. Um, so I'm just going to wear these. I got these from Target like a couple years ago. They're like basically van knockoffs. And then these are my favorite jeans, which are the, um, gosh, sometimes I remember the name, sometimes I don't. They're like the ankle, I can't remember. They're sold out anyway, so I don't really know. Um, but they're, they're my favorite and they're from Fashion Nova. You know it still hurts a little bit but not that much Cause if you want somebody else Who am I to judge I've been thinking about you all the time But that's alright 
I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer, our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you so long I met you in the So Hobby Lobby was a, su a success. They had really cute fall decor um, and everything was 40% off. So it was kind of like Ross Marshall type prices. So I was really happy with that. Um, I kind of wanted to go into Bed Bath, not Bed Bath and Beyond. I always get those confused. Bath and Body Works to get some soaps. But I think I'm going to hold off on that. Um, so we're going to make our way over to the Christmas tree shops. And then probably Burlington. And if we need to, we'll go to Target. But I don't know if we'll need to or not. So Christmas tree, sh Christmas tree shops was actually quite disappointing. They still have their summer stuff out. They still have tons of summer stuff. Um, the main reason why I went and I always go in there is so I can get their flags, like their outdoor flags for the out, outside, and you guys will see. Um, so I did get that, and then I decided to get some hand towels for my bathroom. But other than that, they didn't have like hardly anything. I'll show you like a little clip of what they had. That was literally the only section, and then they were putting up... Um, some Halloween stuff, which I was shocked that they were putting up Halloween more than they were putting up fall. So, I don't know. Maybe they're not going to do, maybe that's all the fall stuff that they have. I've never, well, no, I want to say that this is actually where I got my little Cinderella pumpkin from, was the Christmas tree shops. So, I don't know. I would love to get me another little Cinderella pumpkin because it's so pretty, but I don't know where I can find one. So, I really don't think I'm going to have any luck here in Burlington, but we're going to try. And then our last stop will be Target and hopefully, fingers crossed, well, I know Target has stuff. I just hope that it's not super expensive because I know Target can be on the pricier side. This is what I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, these two things, I'll show you what I got from the Christmas, Christmas, ugh, Christmas tree shops first because I only got two things. So I got this. Um, I was trying to choose between three different flags and I let Ava pick. So she chose this one and it was only $4.99. They have, this is where I always go for my flags for outside. They're perfect. Um, and they're always like super cheap. So five bucks, you can't be that. And then I got these. I thought this was a really pretty color. It's silver and teal. And I'm gonna put those in my bathroom. And then what I got from, what's this place called? Hobby Lobby. All this stuff costs less than, like about $100 because I also got Ava something for her birthday, which was like a, some kind of book that she wanted for drawing, journaling, something like that. So my total was like $114 and her book was like $10. So it was about $100. All of their fall stuff is 40% off. So... I felt like that was really good. Like this sign originally was $34.99. So whatever 40% off of that is, is what I got it for. I thought this was really cool. So this one lights up and it just says fall, which is actually very sharp. So you have to be careful with that. Um, this one, this little sign just says thankful and blessed. I love this little thing, um, this little frame, canvas, whatever you want to call it. It says, but I think I love fall most of all. Fall is my favorite, favorite season. Love it so much. And then these pumpkins are so me. So this one 
is glass. This one was $12.99, 40% off. It has like a little, uh, little pearls and the little leaf with a little uh, rhinestone. And then of course, you know, those are so me, <laughs> little white pumpkins with the silver glitter. And then I figured that I would put this one up top, not up top, upstairs on my uh, storage bench in the hallway. That is such a pretty pillow. And again, this was like 17 bucks. You cannot beat that. It was $27.99. Uh, it was like 17 or $14 on sale. Like you cannot beat that. And then this one is my favorite of them all. And I really want to go back and get the other one. This I'm going to put on that mint bench that's in my office. How perfect. This is so me. So, so, so me. And what I wanted to do was put it on my bench and then if you flip it over, it has the leopard print. So I wanted to get two of them so I could do one with the leopard print and then the other one would be this one. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that yet. I'm just gonna go see what it looks like, how I like it and whatnot. But this was just so me. I was like, I have to have that. And then this was the last thing. This is just a little sign that obviously goes into your lawn and it just says welcome and it has an orange pumpkin, a mint pumpkin, and a white pumpkin. This is so me. So yeah, that is everything that I got. Are you guys ready for something life changing? Okay, listen. Okay, so you go to the store, right? And you get these little like muffin packs, right? You get chocolate chocolate chip. Then there's I don't know, banana nut muffin mix. And you have apple cinnamon. You have blueberry cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake. So you're like, oh yeah, cool. I'll make muffins. No. Do you want, y'all, I'm just, I don't know, I'm not even gonna show you my pantry because it is a wreck. But listen, you add your milk. And then are you ready for it? You ready for it? Your life is about to be changed. You make them into pancakes. Literally, any kind of flavor pancake that you want, you can have. And yes, I know, I messed that up, but it's gonna be okay. Literally, you just put the mix in a little bowl, Add your milk or your water. Exact directions that's on the back of the uh, back of the bag. And you make your pancakes. So tonight we're having chocolate chip pancakes courtesy of Betty Crocker. You're welcome. So this is called Chair One Fitness, and I've done this class one time before, and I'm excited to try it again, so fingers crossed it goes good. I'm exhausted, I wanna go to sleep, and it's only 7.48. It's been a day, but we're gonna get our workout in. We just did five minutes of stairs. Now it's time for Chair One Fitness. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one We're falling out, we've reached disaster Don't know where we're gonna be after And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again We're falling, falling down, we faded But I know, I know that we can save it Cause we're like Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Even if we go a lot of break us down, I know we are Alpha and Omega Whatever happens doesn't matter, I know we can sort it out Alpha and Omega Alpha and Omega 
Like the waves pull you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom And we do it all again and again and again and again Again and again and again and again It is 4.11. I finished decorating from yesterday. I took a shower this morning. Didn't even blow dry my hair or anything. I just literally threw it up wet in a bun and was like, we are going with it because I had a long list of things to do from taking Poshmark pictures, which you guys already saw, to cleaning and finished decorating. And I am so proud of myself with the fact that I got all of it done. Huge thank you to my kiddos for helping me. Kendra took the pictures and Ava was like my assistant where she was uh, handing me the clothes and then I would hand them back to her and she would hang them up. So we totally had a assembly line going and it worked to perfection because we got all of those clothes, the pictures taken probably within an hour which is really good. I have literally been go, go, go since 7.30 this morning. I woke up, got ready, started cleaning, finished decorating, did the Poshmark stuff, had like an hour and a half long counseling session. So I'm definitely ready to just kind of eat some dinner, relax. And yeah, I gotta do the stairs for five minutes, but thank God it's just five minutes, so. Catch you guys later. So here is dinner tonight. I'm so excited. We're legit eating dinner at 4.35. We are just that hungry. Um, but I just took some tortilla chips. Kentrell uh, browned up the ground beef. Add some taco seasoning. Um, I did salsa con queso. This stuff is game changer for nachos. So I used that instead of using shredded cheese, which the kids are going to use shredded cheese, but I use this because it's so good. And then some shredded lettuce. By the way, thank you so much to whoever told me uh, for these bags to go ahead and add a paper towel because this shredded lettuce will go bad literally the next day if you don't do that. But here I've had this open for like, I wanna say close to a week. And yeah, it's starting to like get a little brown right now but it's still good and I'm really excited. So thank you so much. And if you guys did not know that and you love shredded lettuce, but it always goes bad on you too quickly, just put a paper towel in there with it and it's perfection. And then I just drizzled some sour cream on top. Do we hit the bottom? And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. Falling down, we fade it. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out. Alpha and Omega. Even if we go a lot of breakers down, I know we are Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out. Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. almost afternoon because it is 11 11 make a wish so it is friday august 21st and i have a bunch of brushes um to um clean and i just got this which is the beauty blender solid unscented cleanser and it also has a little silicone mat in there hold on let me put you down for a second because I've got to open it. So the uh, cleanser is solid. It's like a little soap bar, basically. And then this little thing, I don't see little stickies though, so I wonder how that's gonna stay in the sink. 
but here's the thing so it's like you know it really gets deep down into i mean this is supposed to be gosh i got that dirty already um it's supposed to be for like your beauty beauty blenders or your sponges or whatever but we're gonna do our face brushes as well and then a couple eye brushes so we're gonna go do that real quick and then we've got to get going on posting all of my stuff on Poshmark. So by the time you guys are watching this, everything, everything that I have for sale is up on Poshmark, ready for you guys to purchase. Can you see me shaking? Hear the sound of my heart breaking. Bless the soul that's aching. Hoping I survive. The feeling lingers on every day of every month Wishing I just could forget about you The weight upon my bones makes it harder to move on Oh baby Don't think that I'll ever forgive myself for losing Okay, so mini review on this It works amazing for these little sponges Like it works really, really, really well um, it also works well on like these fluffier brushes, the eye brushes, my blush brush. However, by the way, when you're cleaning your brushes, make sure you pinch them so you kind of put them back in their original form so they're not like splayed all over the place because you don't want your bristles all crazy like. Um, the eye brushes, it worked phenomenal on. These thicker, more dense face brushes these are from it cosmetics and i think one is from sigma no they're all it yeah so they're all it cosmetics these are very 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 dense and they're already hard to clean so this one wasn't the best they're still actually kind of dirty um i even went in with my face wash which is cetaphil and it still didn't work that well so I can't remember what time, what time last it was that I saw you. I think it was about 10, 11, I don't know. But it is currently 4.06. And I just opened my closet and I was like, yes, I'm done. I've been putting this off for so long. Seriously though, I've been putting this off for so long. It feels amazing, my foot's asleep. Um, so I go to open my closet so I can put all the stuff back in the closet, right? Whoa, that was so weird. Like, you know how like, you're hearing like it's messed up. Like now my ears are ringing it. Like the hearing went from here to here. That was really weird. And now my ears are ringing. <clears throat> Anyways, I need, went to go hang up the dresses and I saw this box sitting here and I was like, wait a minute, what's that box? And I was like, oh my gosh, this box is full of clothes to also sell and post on Poshmark. <laughs> um, my babies are going with their daddy this weekend, so I will be alone tonight, and I am going to have a very eventful Friday night full of watching nothing but Lifetime movies. Which doesn't sound very eventful. Oh, it's so eventful for me. Oh, it's sorry. very eventful. <laughs> he left me. <laughs> and then, like, he's back. Snow. That's... That's not really kind of like what um lifetime movies are anyways i'm gonna cut it here because i know like this vlog is super long and i'm gonna start with a new vlog tomorrow i love you guys i hope that you're having an amazing weekend and or if i post this on the weekend i don't know if i'm posting this on saturday morning or not i don't know oh that's what i was supposed to do i was supposed to have a super eventful night of editing now I'm super sad because I forgot I was supposed to be editing all day and then posting these. I didn't think it would take this long. So yeah, I'm going to have a super eventful night of editing and working tonight. My dreams have been crushed. 
it's okay. This is probably up on Saturday. And if it is, I hope you're having an amazing Saturday. And I will see you guys next week. Love you all. Have an amazing day. Subscribe if you're new here. Like this video. Share. Subscribe if you're new. I think I already said that. Love you guys. Bye.